Good YouTube and everybody. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this review. Plus stopping by the channel. We really do appreciate that. What we're going to talk about is Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home. Marvel Legends series Spider-Man Final Suit. And this is portrayed by Tom Holland. What we're going to talk about are the measurements, scale the figures with others, look at the appearance, check out the sculpt and the paint ops, look at the piece count and the accessories, points of articulation, pricing, pros and cons, the box, and where the figure was purchased. Plus at the end of the video, we'll have those photos for you. Guys, tell me something. Who is your favorite supervillain in Spider-Man No Way Home? Let me know in the comments. But right now, let's go ahead and roll this guy out of the stand and let's give him a measure to see how tall he sits. Okay, so let's go ahead and measure him up. Start with that inches. All right, let's get the little guy here. There he is, inches. Okay. <laughs> Looks like he's right at six inches. You see it? A little under six inches there. Little guy. So if he's a little under six inches, that means he'll be a little bit under 15 centimeters. Is he right at it? Okay, we'll just leave him at six and 15, okay? That's where he's at. That's where he's standing. And that's what we're working with today. Okay, let's scale him up. We'll start with Iron Man. Just to put his boy right next to him, right? Yeah, okay. Iron Man. Then we'll go with Sandman. There he is, right? And also, we'll go with your friendly. There he is. Oh, there. Oh, come on now, friendly. There he goes. Have your friendly there. Bam. Then we'll have Amazing Spider-Man, Andrew. Oh, Mr. Andrew Garfield, right? There you go. Okay, you see the size comparison? I, I'm pretty sure that Tim Holland is the smallest. He is a pretty small guy, and so is Tobey Maguire. He's small too. So it, do, it does look pretty good, actually. Not too bad, right? So you get the idea. Okay, okay. So here's your piece count. So do you have a pair of hands here? More relaxed and open, as you can see. All right, and then you're gonna have your web hands. There you go, see that? And also, you're gonna have your interchangeable head, which is my favorite so far. It looks really good, can't wait to see it. And there you go, for the piece count, you have your two, four, and five. And that's gonna do it for the piece count. Okay, so let's look at the accessories up close. We'll check out the hands we just seen there. We'll go with the open hands. Let's start with this one. There you go. You see the design there. You're going to have the red, just basic red plastic, a couple grooves in there, whatnot. It's okay. Then you're going to have this black paint. It's not grazed. Just paint it on there. There you go. Has a little bit of something to it. That's just because it was painted, but it's okay. Not as great as the other ones, but this is all right. And there's your latch there. Nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and look at another one. Okay, you got it. There it is. Okay, you see that? Okay, it's just red plastic, the red mold. Then you're gonna get the black paint and do it like some webbing. This one's okay. Not great in my opinion. Being that I've seen the last two, this is probably the worst of them all. But it's okay and it will do, all right? So let's look at the web hands here. There we go, there they are. Same concept, looks like you got a little bit of grooves. You see the grooves there? Just some grooves, nothing really wild on that. And like I said, you have the red and then the black paint on it, right? See it? It's okay, it's not great, not great, but it's okay. I mean, the position of the fingers and stuff is good, but just like the paint on it is all right just for the hand so far. And we'll take a look at the other one just to give you an idea. You see it? It's all right. Almost looks like this is some kind of a cake and they just put some 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 some, some Hershey syrup on it. <laughs> yeah, you see it. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the interchangeable head, which I do like because of the fact that it's just, it's done well. It's really done, it's done very well. You can see it here. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, look at that. That is done. Very good. I mean, the eyes are painted great. Look at the webbing this time. The chocolate, Hershey's chocolate over the red. Looking good. I cannot complain about that. That part looks well while in socket. But look at that. Tell me how that looks. Good, right? So not bad on that. Okay. So that's going to do it for the accessories. Okay. So let's look at them up close. Let's get that up close. Let's move that camera. 
You know, I, <laughs> I wish I had this ready for you guys, but I don't, right? Okay, let's do it. There we go. There we go. All right. Look at that hair. Up close. You see it? Face. Look at that. Let me know what you guys think. Is it him? Is that him? Does it look like him? Mr. Holland? Mr. Timmy? <laughs> let's, let's see. Go back some. That him? Okay, we see it. All right, look at the closeness, the neck, the Hershey's on the red. Look at that. Spider, the arms. Look at that. the muscles there. Look pretty good. The diaper don't look bad. Hershey's on the diaper with the red. The legs got that kind of metallic look to it. Right here, too, under the arms. You see it. Let's go to the back here. Okay, look at the mold on the hair in the back. Close. See it? Hershey's around the neck there. Right, got a little bit of gray's material there, right here, huh? Okay. The back with the spider. Got the blue. More Hershey's on the belt. Buttocks, thighs. Hershey's on the <laughs> Hershey's on the boots. And his house shoes. There they are. Okay. Not too bad. Let's get a close-up on that face again so you can see it. Got it? All right, and that's gonna do it for the close-up. So let's take a look at the paint ops and the sculpt, okay? So there we go. We saw the close-up there. Look at the hair. That's that mold, look good. We see the paint in the face. You see the eyebrows, the eyes, the, the light in the eyes. You see the white inside, the nose, ears, mouth, sculpted pretty good. Okay, got nice sculpting there. Okay, arms, sculpted very well. You see it, body. What tooling looks good. There you go. Abs, the legs, muscles, the boots, the house shoes, the back here. We see that. All right. So the scope looks pretty good, pretty proportional, I think. Especially the face looks really good with the ears. That chin looks good. Okay. And the coloring here, you got the brown hair. Of course, the eyes are a brown color. With the white dot in the middle and the white behind it the lips are the are kind of like that flesh color with the face then you're going to have the red and black with the blue on the suit right okay nothing too to it but it does look good to me i, do, I think it looks great so okay that's going to do it okay so let's step into it that poa that points of articulation but first let's go ahead and do the hand because we know we went over the hands but when the hand comes on a figure i don't count them as a piece count but here we go got the punch hands there you go chocolate syrup on the red punch hands latch rotation both sides got it cool let's go for the head now so okay the head moves around very well we know that because on that ball and joint that sock ball and socket you got your down there you have your ups and you're gonna have your tilts Tilt's looking good, okay. All right, let's go to the arms here. You have your arms in that, that fly. Of course, the fly goes that high. Not going any higher than that in the regular motion. But if you turn the fly, of course, you can go higher. It just looks funny sometimes. That looks okay, actually. Not, not, not too bad. It actually rotates around very nice. Okay, it looks good. Okay, you got a little bit of extra play here, right there. Yep, for the joints, not bad at all. Bicep swivel is there, easy. Then you're gonna have your latch. That's your, that's your 90 degree. Then you're gonna have it go all the way in, okay? Not bad on that. Both sides, that's what it is, okay? So we do, we already looked at the rotation in the wrist and the wrist has latches itself and that goes for all the accessories for the hands, right? Okay, let's go to the middle of the figure. The middle of the figure rotates at the top. It does have the movements by the pelvis. So you can do your crunches. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then it you know comes out but if you do it too much you'll have that gap you don't want the gap so let's go to the legs dumbbell dumbbell flies right there dumbbell joints right there you see them you go right there dumbbell joints there right there you go you do have your thigh swivel that is there okay and then your latch there and your latch it goes let's see here so the latch is there a latch that go that's it that's it. You got one latch that limits itself going up higher. It looks, let's see. There we go. It, that's very strange. You see it right there, how the double is. So you do have that, but this kicks in. So you, the latch here at the top is the one that bends it. And then this one kicks in right here 
bam, and there you go. You got it. So double lashed out. Good job. He's going to need to be flexible. And that's the same on both sides. No, no uh, swivel in the ankle. I mean, in the, in the calf area, but you do have the swivel around by the bottom of the ankle here. Plus, you're going to have the lashes, of course, right? And no pivot in the toe. Come on, guys. We need that pivot in the toe. Okay. So not bad for the articulation. Okay. So that's, that's, that, that's, that's going to do it. Okay. So let's talk about some pros and cons. We'll go with the cons first. The cons are... Don't have enough accessories. And never do with Spider-Man if you don't have any webbing. So that's not enough. You should have some kind of webbing of something different coming out the hands or just have some that are not attached. Just some kind of web of some form. I don't like that he doesn't have that. He should have it. Uh, and that's pretty much all the cons. So the pros are the hands do look pretty good with the Hershey's on it. <laughs> the face uh, unmasked is, looks very great. And the mask looks very great itself. So the figure does look really good. It just needs more accessories. So I really like the figure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it four out of five. That's what my thoughts are. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Okay, so let's talk about some pricing. Okay, so here's the pricing. This is that Big Bad Toy Store site. Looks like it's $25.99 with the plus the shipping and handling. Looks like it's available January 24th of next year. Check it out. I'm sure it's available other places as well. Just be on the lookout for them. Okay, guys, that is the pricing. Okay, so here's the packaging. You've seen this package before. There's nothing really different. I mean, it's the same package as the other guys that I've reviewed before with Sandman and Andrew Garfield. Same stuff. So Marvel Studios right there. Spider-Man No Way Home. You got the three Spider-Men there. You got Marvel Legends, Spider-Man, and then the Hasbro Warning. Of course, the ages. Then you have the Circle logo Spider-Man Spider down here. And he is in the bubble there with his accessories. Nothing too crazy. You know this is a one and done box. You slice this open, it's done. One and done. There goes the Marvel Legends series there. Spider-Man, and there's some saying there. You can pause it, read it, and we can get to talking about it. And there he is again with the electricity. That's Sam. And three more of the guys you know who they are and there's the marvel studios with the no way home there and here's that stuff you can pause that read that and we can get to talking about it okay so that's gonna do it for the one and done packaging and you guessed it you can get it at bigbadtoystore.com just check out bigbadtoystore.com so what are you waiting for check them out check out bigbadtoystore.com BigBadToyStore.com Check them out! And this brings us to the end of our video. If you found the video informational or you just simply enjoyed watching, please hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. And as always, this has been another toy review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.